So my whole family wrestle. Uh, I grew up in Norwich, England. Um, I've basically been wrestling since I was a fetus because my mom was pregnant with me and didn't realize. So uh, I took my first bump then, which was really nice. That's why I'm so weird now. Was it, was it flatback or? Oh, no, actually, Robbie Brookside from NXT, uh, the, the trainer down in NXT, actually gorilla pressed my mom from inside the ring to outside onto my dad. Wow. So it could have ended really badly. Absolutely. She took a risk, I love her. That's, that's born hardcore, though, that's... It's, it's born pretty hardcore. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a say in it, but... Right, right. Very good. Can so, we... uh, what's that like? Let's go closer. Can we go closer? What's that? Can we go closer? Yeah. That's too, that's too far away. They can barely hear us. Thank you. Thank you. I try. All right. You can carry on again. I apologize. So uh, what's that like? I mean, it's obviously not a conventional childhood, but... Uh, no, sounds, definitely not. Definitely sounds not. pretty cool, I'm sure, to a lot of wrestling fans would think, like, that's the greatest thing ever. Uh, what's oh, that like? It's incredible. I mean, I never got bullied in school, which is great. Uh, yeah, they never messed with me. Actually, they used to probably stay away from me. I didn't have a lot of friends in school, <laughs> probably because of my wrestling background. How did your classmates take that? Did they think that was cool? Did they think it was weird? Oh, they never thought wrestling was cool. I always thought wrestling was cool. I still do. I'm still a super fan. That's definitely, definitely cool. Um, so, so I'm gonna ask you, how does this work? Do you ask me all the questions or do I get to answer some other questions out oh, here? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take some questions from the fans. They're lining right up here. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, nice shirt, buddy. All right. No, not you, the, the one that screamed for me on the back, sorry. Yours is cool too. We, we don't have a ton of time, so we'll open up some questions to the floor. You wanna do it? Yeah. That? All right, very cool. Your shirt is just as cool, I promise. I put, right. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, little lady. Um, my question is, what is it like to be a diva? It's amazing to be a diva. Um, reason being is that I like to preach a message, which is to totally and utterly be yourself. That's why I'm a complete nutcase with <laughs> albino skin. So, <laughs> no, um, but yeah, like actually a backstory of where I got that message from was I had two tryouts in the WWE. One of them obviously didn't end very well, but I tried to be like the rest of the divas. You know, I tried to be cookie cutter. I tried to get a tan. I dyed my hair like I took my piercings out, wore color. Boo. Oh, I think I wore like pink or something and I hate pink. <laughs> um, so, and they saw that I wasn't confident and I wasn't comfortable and they were just like, come back, you know, when, you're, when you really believe in yourself. So I did, and I, I, I came back completely dressed as me. Um, and it was like a two and a half hour match. I was the only girl. One of the guys being in the match was my brother, and then 10 other wrestlers. I didn't really know. And I just got my butt kicked the whole time. And Goldust and Jamie Noble, Noble loved it. They just watched it the whole time. Um, but yeah, so I got signed completely and utterly be myself. And that's the best part of being a diva is that I get to now project that message. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry that was like a really long answer, but. Hi, Paige. Hi. My name is Marcus. Um, it's a huge honor for you to be here right now. Oh, thank you. Uh, my question for you is who is your favorite diva or superstar to work with in your whole entire wrestling career? To work with? Okay. Um, I really enjoy working with Emma. I feel like she's very underrated and very underused. <laughs> and I feel like exactly. I don't think she should do the dance anymore, though. Yeah. I, I just, I feel like she needs to evolve, and that's what she thinks as well. So she's uh, slowly starting to fade that. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely love working her. I love working Bailey. Bailey is an absolutely amazing talent. Woo! I know we got some Bailey fans in the house. Sasha Banks fans. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I love Sasha Banks. And actually, I really enjoyed working AJ, just because, you know, yeah. she was... She's my girl, and she's amazing, and she was someone that I looked up to in NXT, so. And actually, Nikki Bella as of late. Oh, are we getting some booze in the house right now? Wait, come on! All right, I take it back. Oh. I, don't, I don't take it back, I love you, Nikki. Okay, next question, thanks, buddy. 
Uh, Paige, first off, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I really do enjoy your show. Like, it, you know. Thank you. Just um, for the occasion. What's it like at WrestleMania walking out in front of 71,000 people? Is it any different, or is it just? It is the quietest thing ever because, you know, it's really crazy. There's more people, but you can't hear anyone. You know, just because in a stadium, there's no roof on it, so, like, all the noise goes up. So even um, Dean Malenko said, you can literally hear a pin drop, but he goes, but I promise you they are loud. You just can't hear them. But it's the most amazing feeling ever. You can't, it feels like you can't see the end of everyone, and you can't see anyone's faces because there's just so many people. But, yeah, it's the most amazing experience ever, especially having my mom in the front row. So she never has seen me live in a, in a WWE ring before, NXT, yes, but one experience for her to see me at WrestleMania for the first time. Yeah. I didn't know what was gonna happen until it got, I got an update on my phone from the WWE app and I was like, oh, shh, okay. <laughs> I'm in me. <laughs> I was sweating bricks the whole time. You were great, thank you. I was gonna say the other word, but there's children around. <laughs> Unless that's okay, parents. It's a family show. It's a family show. They're always holding me back. <laughs> um, my name's Philip. First of all, before I say anything, all hail the Queen of Ravens! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I have Kiss two... my hand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, I, have two... I have two questions, if that's okay with you. I mean, is, that's okay. I feel like, is that okay? Um, first off, what would be your dream match? I, can I wrestle guys? Hey, your, your dream match. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would love, <laughs> you, <laughs> no, I'd uh, love to wrestle Borna Kano. I'm a big fan of her, Alundra cool. Blaze. There's, there's a lot of people that I want to work. Bray Wyatt. Yeah. I want to work with Bray Wyatt. I want to get suplexed a lot of times by Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Suplex City, bitch. Um... <laughs> I 100% want to work Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's the man. Shawn Michaels, Stephanie McMahon, I want to wrestle her. I pay money to see that. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of people. I, I don't have, like, one dream one. Uh, I would love my mom to be uh, a tag team with me Aww. at some point, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'm uh, sorry. I'm, like, got my back no, to No, no, that's, that's more than okay. And, You're here for them. And my second question is, where did the scream come from? That actually, I was on the indies doing that still, and I didn't really realize I was doing it until I was watching some tape back of myself, and I hate doing that because I hate the way I wrestle. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Uh, watered down. I'm watered down, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I, I think I was wrestling like Chili to Melissa, and like I pinned her and did something to her, and then I just like randomly screamed in the middle of the ring. And uh, my dad pointed out, he was just like, why did you scream, you weirdo? And I'm like, I don't know. It just <laughs> felt right. The adrenaline was going. Yeah, yeah. So then, like, in, in, in NXT, like, well, FCW at the time, they were, we have to come up with the entrances. And I'm like, well, I already screaming in the middle of the match. Why can't I do it, like, on my entrance? Because I needed something. I didn't want to walk out there and twirl and, you know, like, frills and spills and stuff like that, you know. So I thought a scream would be kind of cool. Everyone hates it. They're just like, please stop screaming. And please stop saying, this is my house. <laughs> Good thing you didn't Because I say that a lot. I'm like, this is my house. And everyone's like, seriously, how many houses do you have? Just, they're like, it's like you're pretending that you're, you're not homeless or something. Like, I swear, I have a house. This is my house. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's all right. Yeah, get it down. <laughs> You're a real hey. wrestling fan, you know why? You got a funny pack. Hey, don't leave the house without it. <laughs> um, my question, obviously you've been involved in wrestling forever and started at a young age. Is your character what you envisioned when you were you know, a young girl, started getting into it? And if not, what, what did you picture your life would be like when you got to this level? I had no idea where my career was going. I know I wanted to be in the WWE, but I had no idea. But when I first started wrestling, my dad gave me the character. You know, he named me Brittany Knight. Has anyone seen um, California Dolls? It's about a female tag team, it's like a 70s movie. Yeah, you have the only one in the, okay. Guys, you need to watch that movie, okay? It's great. Better than The Wrestler, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so, we were in a tag team called the Norfolk Dolls. Uh, obviously, my name was Brittany Knight, her name was Melody, but we were like all in white. 
which is really weird, very angelic of me. But I was 13, so my dad's like, you can't get your boobs out yet. You don't have any. I'm like, yeah, I still don't have any. So I think when you're 13, you gotta be, you gotta be a baby face. Yeah, so I started out as baby face as well, but I didn't imagine like I would be, I'm just basically an exaggerated version of myself, which is really cool. Like that's what, that's what I like. I wouldn't want to be anything else. Apart from when they make me dress in fairy costumes. If anyone saw that raw, yeah. that was probably one of my favorite moments of my WWE career. Uh, cool, thanks. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. What's been your uh, favorite angle or storyline to work in your career? Um, other, well, independently, on the independence, I actually liked the uh, storyline between me and my mom for Shimmer. I don't know if anyone watches Shimmer. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so I really like that storyline. It's basically where she berate me every time I lost a match and make me feel very small. And then all of a sudden I turned on her and then I become the super baby face. She become the heel and then we had a street fight. Do not have a street fight with your mom. It doesn't end well. <laughs> um, but that was my last match on the Indies. But uh, I like that and I... Liked actually in NXT it was me and Summer Rae, uh, just because she had she was the ring announcer and no one expected her to hit me while I was celebrating after I won a match. Did you see that? She was great as the heel, really good heel. And then on the road it's got to be um, probably just me and AJ, just because we were we did the frenemies thing and then I'm sorry that frenemies thing happened. I know everyone got crazed with it. I said it once and then it was like you're saying it all the time. I'm like okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so I'd say me and AJ after that. And a uh, quick plug for uh, Shimmer, by the way. That was, uh, that was a great series that you had. Oh, thank you. I love Shimmer. Shimmer is definitely, I, I would definitely go watch it if you're in the Chicago area. It's like full of women that are absolutely incredible athletes. It's definitely worth going out of your way to see uh, her work in Shimmer. It was good. Oh, you should see my mom work. Except from she does punch fans, which I'm like totally against. Some of them deserve it. A little bit too aggressive. I'm like, your mom, you're probably gonna get arrested at some point. Hi, Paige. Hi. My name is Charlie, and I think you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, stop it. <laughs> uh, uh, my question was, would you ever do a hardcore match or a TLC match, and who would it be? Duh, yeah, of course. I, like, on the indies, I did it. Um, I wish we could do it in WWE. If I did, I have all the girls. I mean, it would probably be Emma still. Like, I'm really pushing for Emma. Come on, we want Emma, guys. Oh, <laughs> Hashtag, yeah. give Emma a chance. Oh, my God. But yeah, hardcore is my jam. Or Lundra Blaze, I feel like she could go. Okay. I'll be hoping for it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Okay. Me too. All right, thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Daniel, and uh, I've been a huge fan of yours ever since I saw you in Shimmer. Uh, my question for you is, who is the toughest opponent you've ever wrestled in your career? My mother. I have only, be <laughs> only because everyone thinks we'll probably go lighter on each other, but that's not the case. We actually go a lot harder on each other. I remember um, Christmas Eve, uh, before I got to WWE, this is when I was first starting out, she broke my wrist, which was really nice. Uh, had a day off, Christmas Day, and then we have a holiday called Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas. Wrestling again, are you a fellow Brit? Yeah, I love you. Um, <laughs> So the day after, I got really angry about it, kicked her in the face, broke her nose. I was like, you <laughs> broke my wrist. <laughs> but then the day after that, she knocked me out, got me way back. And we just said tip a tat, it's cool, broken bones each. <laughs> we loved each other, I swear. Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Paige. Hi. Who inspired you to become a professional wrestler? Um, obviously my family, but I was always a massive fan of Lita. And she was amazing. Actually, I dressed up as her for Halloween one year. My dad was not happy because I stole one of my mom's thongs and put them on and put it really high. A bit risque for a, you know, like a 10 year old, but I loved Lita, man. <laughs> I think it's interesting because obviously AJ was a big Lita fan to see yeah. the inspiration. Me and, Leo, uh, me and AJ are very similar. To see the effect that she's had on the current generation and the people coming up that are fantastic. Amazing, and now I get to work with her on Tough Enough, which is absolutely insane. I was actually walking down the street in Orlando at like one in the morning, not doing anything bad, guys. It's just walking back from my friend's house, no partying. All above the board. Yeah, 
all peachy. Um, and she was like driving past with her dog. And she was screaming, Paige, Paige. And I'm like, who's the weirdo showing at me? And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Leah. And I'm like, fine girl. And I'm like, chill, chill. And I'm like, hey, Amy, how are you? Good to see you. We did. Oh, uh, you live here now? Let's hang out, please. <laughs> I love her. She's great. Um, hey, uh, Paige, uh, I, I want to talk about the night when you won the, the title against AJ Lee on uh, the day, night after WrestleMania 30 on, on Raw. Uh, I know you were happy about the, the title win, but did part of you wish that match was in WrestleMania 30? You would have like a, a couple months built that and that ultimate payoff in front of the for that big crowd in Superdome? No, I feel like everything works out the way it's supposed to be. You know, like the whole, I feel like the build up was perfect. You know, the way they did the battle royal and you know, like no women could like beat her. And then I come in the next day and I beat her in 30 seconds. I was like, I couldn't have figured out of a better storyline myself. It was great. I didn't know it was gonna happen though. Mm. That's the one thing. Cause like I wrestled so many times that weekend at the- uh, uh, Access. Access. Sorry, I should know that word. Uh, <laughs> Just think of me as your hype man. I'm like, <laughs> Key and Peele, if anyone said. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like drifting off, I'm sorry. I just love to talk. Um, yeah, I wrestled so many times that weekend. I lost my voice and everything. And then uh, I get there and Sarah Delray was just like, hey, I think you're on tonight. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. All right, Sarah, thanks. What a rip, right? April 4th. Um, but then Fit came up to me around showtime, and then he was like, all right, you got a promo. I'm like, what? And then he's like, and uh, you're going to be wrestling AJ afterwards. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, and you're going to win the Divas Championship. And I was like, ah! And I just burst into tears, dropped a few F-bombs because I lost, lost my cool. I was like, this is the most amazing thing in my life. Mm. <laughs> And then um, no one else knew it was just me and AJ though. And she was so cool about it. She was amazing about it. On a quick side note now, you mentioned Sarah Del Rey, who's probably the real unsung hero of the Divis division. How, um, how has she been? She's been great. She's, um, she's kind of let us indie girls do what, what we want wrestling wise. So she hasn't like done a, she, has, she, she spends a lot more time with like the newer girls, which is awesome. And they're coming up and they're doing absolutely amazing. They're learning quickly and she's really kicking butt there. Like she's absolutely amazing with the new girls. They love it. Do you think they'll ever see her in the ring? <clears throat> I hope so, because she's incredible. She absolutely. really is. Yeah, yeah. Hello, what beautiful. Up? Hi. Um, just wanted to ask you, um, what was your inspiration behind the PTO? Uh, behind the PTO? That is a Paul McConnor move. And there was, I think it was a match between her and Elijah Blaze at SummerSlam. Does anyone see that? You, know, you can see it on the WWE Network for $9.99. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can, you can uh, see it there. But yeah, she did it and I modified it a little bit. Yeah. But I, I came up with it in NXT, uh, FCW, and that was when uh, Ivelisse Velez was still there as well, which is a girl that used to be. Um, uh, I'm losing my train of thought today. Ivelisse. She was one of the tra trainees as well. But, uh, she got released, but we came up with it together, and then I took it. And one more question. Um, yep. Whose house is it? This is my house. <laughs> this is my house. Go for it. Hey, Paige, my name is Kanye. Out of all the girls, you're my favorite. Aw. Can I ask you two questions? Of course you can, buddy. One is, have you ever had a rivalry with AJ? And two is... Which is your favorite moment out of all of it? So I did have a rivalry with AJ, uh, two of them. And one was when I debuted and won the Divas Championship. And then she went away for a couple of months and I was kind of boring baby face. Sorry about that. Not my best time. Uh, and then when she came back, that was when I liked it too because we had the frenemies thing and then People kind of expected me to turn, but didn't. So that was like my favorite moment and winning the championship, of course. Oh, I won the championship for my birthday for SummerSlam. By the way. By a PS, guys, no big deal. Cried after that too, big baby. Good afternoon, Paige. Good afternoon. Just want to let you know it's very humbling and gratifying to have you in my presence. Oh, <laughs> um, you're I have... so freaking sweet. <laughs> 
I have uh, two questions, and by the way, yes, I get that a lot. I'm just <laughs> All um, right, Casanova, spit it out. The first question is, do you see yourself performing the way you do 12 years ago when the women's division was starting to get more divas? Or what do you mean? Like, the like way I during the Roosters' aggression era where yeah. Lita and Trish mm -hmm. Stratus and Molly Hall and them, do you see yourself competing with those women at that time? Oh, absolutely. I would have it. And plus, like, you know, you're more than likely to go through tables back then, too. So <laughs> I'm really trying to push for that, guys. I want to go through a table. I was trying to add the elimination chamber. I was like, we can just paint this thing pink. And then, you know, it's a diva match. They just, they never listen to me, though. They're like, good one, Paige, real smart. Uh, won't let us do it. So yeah, I definitely see that. And, you know, hopefully it starts going back to that in the future, especially with all the NXT girls, you know, if they, they step up and come up, you know. Hopefully one day we can start having really long 20-minute matches with yeah. all the crazy dives and stuff. And another question. Do you think it's much easier nowadays becoming more of a wrestler than it was say 10 years ago or even 20 years ago? There's a lot more, like you, you, there's a lot more places you can go for training, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of people I believe think they're wrestlers. There's not a lot of professional wrestlers. So like, uh, I'm, I love indie promotions, but sometimes you get some backyarders. Oh, absolutely. Some, yeah, yeah, which I'm, I'm not. Less than trained. Le yeah, 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 so. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Um, but yeah, uh, that didn't answer it, but I apologize. How did you feel when you won the championship in your debut? Aw, it was the most amazing feeling ever. Actually, in the video package they did afterwards, I did cuss in it, and I don't think Vince saw it. And he played it over and over again for two months straight. Um, but yeah, I was over the moon. Like it was, it was a huge goal and a dream of mine. So, and to get it on my first day, like I can't imagine a bad debut. It was incredible. Oh my gosh, get in my pocket. <laughs> if you want to punch a diva in the face, who would you punch? <laughs> That's a good question. Someone had to say it, right? If I had to punch a diva in the face, who would it be? Is that what you're asking? Are we talking about behind the scenes punch in the face or are we talking about work and punch in the face? Like a punch in the face. Um, huh? Like a punch in the face. Oh, I'd love to <laughs> punch either Eva or Cameron in the face. No big deal. <laughs> Eric on this. See you in the locker room, guys. <laughs> this is my house. Thanks for the question. You made me sweat a little bit, buddy. Uh, hello, Paige. Hello. Uh, my name is Adrian. First off, um, you're one very lovely lady, and it's an <laughs> honor in meeting you in person. You're so sweet. Uh, second, uh, I'm here on behalf of a, a fellow co-worker of mine who just couldn't make it and who is a big, big fan of yours. My question is, what is, what is your feelings or experience finding out that you managed to make an appearance in one of the WWE 2K games? It blew my mind. It didn't feel real. So I was super excited about it, but it didn't really hit home until I actually saw the game. And when I walked into a GameStop and um, I saw my face advertised on it, and then on the radio, on the, you know, it was advertised in there, and I'm like, who's Paige? That's me. It, like, it, <laughs> it blew my mind. And then to actually hold on to the game, like I had the game and, you know, I play as myself. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> like, you have to. You like, can't play with anybody I grew else. Up, I grew up playing the games like Raw vs. SmackDown and stuff, you know? Like, I, I, it blew my mind. Like, I saw, and, you know, 2 k sixteen's coming out. And uh, I'm the first Steve that's advertised for it. I'm not a downloadable character. I'm actually part of it. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I, I, it's amazing. It's amazing. I can't. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, my question is, um, were you, you taking a selfie? Me? No, I'm just recording this because it's going to be funny. Okay. Yeah, will you marry me? Oh, it's going to be funny? Yeah. Will okay, you marry it better be me? funny now. Will you marry me? Oh, <laughs> where's my ring? Oh, oh come on, brother. It's too expensive. What? I 
can't marry you unless you got a ring. I'll be right back. And you'd even get that on one knee. This is ridiculous. Did you ask my dad first, too? So many questions. Will yeah. you marry me? <laughs> I need a ring, sorry. All right. Come Thank you. Come back. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Paige, nice to meet you. Love you to meet you, too. I was just wondering how you enjoyed acting in your upcoming holiday movie with the Ah, race. so I'm, I got to be in a WWE movie called Santa's Little Helper. And it comes out at Christmas, and I played the bad guy against The Miz, which is always great, because me and The Miz are always arguing. They were brother and sister. But it was an amazing feeling. I haven't really done a lot of like acting before. I did stunt back in the day, but that's all I did. But So it was definitely a crazy new experience. Um, I loved it, it was great. The director was great. And actually, uh, Miz was actually a sweetheart. Can you believe that? Sorry, Mikey, I'm telling you secrets. He's a really nice guy, and he helped me a lot uh, during it as well. And the, the actress, uh, Annalyn McCord, she's from uh, 90210. Right. And Nip Tuck? Nip Tuck. Yeah, so she was an absolute star in it as well. So um, I had a lot of help. But yeah, it was definitely a different experience. And I got to be in the same bed for like two weeks straight, which is weird. Yeah, how often does that get happen? Never. <laughs> I barely get to sleep in my own bed. Well, thank you. Can't wait to see it. Oh, thank you. I think you'll enjoy it. It's just literally Paige with no makeup on. Ugh. All right, guys, we only got Scary. room for, we only got time for maybe two or three more questions. This oh. one might be a closer. Oh, really? Well? Um, hi. <laughs> Paige, we all know you were in NXT. You were really close to Dusty Rhodes, who recently passed. Um, can you tell us just your favorite story about the American dream? Well, it was, first of all, Dusty was an amazing man. He, um, I actually just rescued a cat recently. Yesterday, actually, I named him after Dusty. But uh, he was such a sweetheart, and Cody said it in you know, his speech at his funeral. Like, if you were the full package, he, didn't, he, he liked you, but he didn't you know, spend a lot of time with you. He liked the misfits and the broken toys and someone that he needs to shine up, you know? Like, he was such a huge supporter. And Lee Air even tweeted about it. He was like, he was mine and Lee's biggest fan. He was such a sweetheart. He called me Princess. Definitely so, one of those guys that you never hear anything bad about. No, never. He was the nicest guy. And he was always a big supporter of the talent. He was a big supporter of the underdog. And I loved him. Um, actually, this is, a, so he'd run promo classes, right? In uh, FCW NXT. And like when I first started, he like looked at me and he was like, baby, you look like the girl with the dragon tattoo. And I'm like, Dusty, I look nothing like the girl with the dragon tattoo. I just have black hair, that's the only thing. Uh, but he's like, nah, baby, I see you. <laughs> I see you uh, on a motorcycle with a laptop. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> I want to see you on top of a ledge looking down at Seth Rollins. Uh, <laughs> he was like, and you're on a laptop. I'm like, what's with the laptop, Dusty? I can't wrestle with it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he'd run promo class and he used to always make me um, like get up. So I'd have a promo ready, I'll do it. And at the end of it, he's like, Paige, baby, okay, get up there. And I'm like, oh no. He's like, okay, you gotta do a one minute promo for me. And I was like, well, what do I have to do? He was like, okay. So you're, you, you and Seth Rollins broke up and he stole your toaster, go. And I'm like, all right. I'm new at this point. I'm so scared to say that I was in, in love with like, Seth Rollins in this promo. And then the next day he made me get up and uh, I found a new love in my life and it was Roman Reigns. <laughs> so he had to sit beside me and I had to like touch him and I was like, ah, like new stranger, sorry. And then, um, so we ended up getting a really close relationship. We were really, really cool. He was definitely a mentor and a hero. And, and he was like, he kept me sane and in insanity. So, but then there was one time, uh, it was really hard to please him, promo-wise, because with me, he was like, no, like, I don't want you to say very much, because like, he was such a huge supporter of me. Like, he always wanted me to be, like, the best. So he, uh, he goes, I delivered this promo, and he goes, um, baby, I asked you for chicken dinner, and you give me chicken shit, like that. And I was like, <laughs> what? And then he was just like, baby, you could do so much better than that. And then he said, like, kind of, shouting at me a little bit, and I just called him the, a mother effer and stormed off. I was like, you mother, <laughs> I'm leaving. And I like storm up the stairs back into the locker room, and then literally like five minutes later, I hear this like knock at the door, and like he ditched promo class, come running all the way up the stairs, and like he was like, I'm sorry, princess. 
And then he sits me down. He was like, I can't believe you call me a mother ever. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, no one speaks to me like that. He was like, uh, but he, he said, basically, he just wanted me to, you know, be the best that I can be and that he's tough on me because he wants me to be good and he wants me to su succeed. And we just sat on that step for like a good 15 minutes. And people are waiting in the promo class. There's still like 25 people wondering where we are. And we're just having this heart to heart on the step. So I'll always remember that. Uh, he was definitely a, a best friend in NXT. Thank you. All right, guys, this is going to be the last question. So make it a good one. Make it a good one. Hey, Paige. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? My question is this. What was your favorite wrestler as a grown-up? Favorite wrestler growing up? Yes. Um, kind of had some of the questions throughout this, but yeah, I would definitely say Borna Carno's uh, Steve Austin was definitely my jam. Uh, and Leah, they were, they were all my favorite wrestlers. I loved them. The Rock? Oh, I love The Rock too. You gotta you got love it, Me Dwayne. too. Freaking Stone Cold the other day. I, um, I'm a big fan of Paul Heyman too. So like they were doing a podcast. And I said, oh, like, th those two doing a podcast together, my ovaries has exploded. But then, <laughs> so Steve Austin comes to Raw, and he comes and hugs me, and he was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, why? He was like, I'm just checking that your ovaries are fine. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thank you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. My ovaries are fine. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys, we're out of time. So, uh... Let's give it up for Paige. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, one oh. sec. No, uh, I'm ju just kidding. I'm staying. We're, we're going to take a picture. Just oh. turn around. Oh, yay. All right, cool. Everybody stand Is up everyone here. Gonna get let's in? Uh, show some support. Here, give yeah, me let's get in this picture. I'm going to hold this microphone. Are you going to hold it? This is my baby now. This belongs to me. This is my mic now. OK. I mean, I'm just going to claim everything, apparently. Okay, I'm going to run the show. I'm now doing all the Q&As. Who's next? <laughs> oh, we're doing this. Okay. Are we, are we doing, like... Um... All right, guys, let's get your hands up. Make some noise. Yay! Okay, and this is where I'm going to sing a song, guys. Um, I'm just kidding. Oh, I love it. it. Looks great. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I'll see you soon. <laughs>